Hi, I'm your host, Ruggiero La Santa, and today I want to look at one of the most important elements of a great performance, the character arc. In the last video, we looked at how any scene is really about the emotional journey of the characters. So today I want to give you a simple technique that will make sure that the character arc you're planning for your character will come across well on the camera. So look at your scene and figure out, or decide if it's not clear on the page, where is your character emotionally at the end of that scene? Do you finish angry? Happy? Devastated? Confused? Whatever it is, make a decision and let it be clear and strong. Then go back to the beginning of the scene and put yourself as far away as possible emotionally from that ending point. So if you finish happy, start angry. If you finish devastated and crying, start brisk and professionally detached, for example. Or, you know, whatever, but make sure you're as far as possible. The last thing to do is to figure out where is the gear change. Where do we shift from one emotional state to the second? I remember that the shift will always happen in reaction to something that happens in the scene. So your interaction with the other characters. In most scenes, this very simple structure, first emotional state, gear change, second emotional state, is enough to make sure that your character arc is nuanced and interesting. Suddenly you come alive because you're coming from somewhere and you're going somewhere else. Now, of course, if the scene is well written, you will not have just one gear change, you'll have several. You can have a gear change every single line or even more. But usually there's always one that is more important. It's what the scene is really actually about. Now, of course, the main gear change will be there for the hero, the protagonist of the story. So if you're not playing the protagonist, if you're playing just a secondary character that is only there for that one scene, the story will not be about you and the gear change will not be about your character. However, you can always decide to create a gear change for yourself. And that will make your performance come alive a lot more. You'll make it a lot more interesting, a lot more nuanced, and also a lot more editable because the editor will be interested in seeing how you react to the hero as well. Now give it a go and let me know how you get on. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any requests for different videos or topics that you'd like me to talk about, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.